Hey guys, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. If you like my content and you're new, subscribe, stick around for a while. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content and it helps me to get out there when people are putting different things in the search engine to find like home fragrance, candles, Bath and Body Works, you name it, all that jazz. Scentsy, all of the above. So I wanted to do a post burn review for you guys. I have quite a few of them that I need to get out. So I'm trying to get these out in the order that I've used them or if I really, really like them and they're available so that you guys could get out there and get those candles while they are available. So my post burn review is on coconut water. I picked this up on Saturday. I love this candle. So just to recap for you. It's a three wick um, and it's the, what do we say, the 14.5 ounces. So the notes in here are coconut milk, creamy vanilla, and pineapple with essential oils. So you can see I've burned it. Um, the day I'm filming this, this is Wednesday, I think I've burned it twice. It looks um, really, really clean, it, um, no issues. I did burn it in my kitchen. And it wasn't like a huge scent throw, it, like it didn't carry through the whole house. Like, you know, some of my candles or waxes, you can smell them all over the house. I do live in a two-story with a basement, so I don't expect my candles to be able to fragrant my whole home. Um, even though my dog can stink up my whole home, that's a totally different subject. Um, that's why I love scent, so I can cover up Jake. But, um... I could smell it when I went into the kitchen. We did barbecue the day that the last time I was burning this. So Joe was making barbecue ribs on the grill and the windows were open. It was a really beautiful day. I think it was Memorial Day. So two days ago when I burnt this last. And every time I walked into the kitchen, I could smell it. I would say fragrance appeal is probably a seven and a half or eight. It's a very fresh one. A lot of times tropical or coconut are not my favorite scent. You know, in like those aren't my the most that I gravitate towards. I like more bakery, cinnamony, caramel, toffee, butterscotch, you know, chocolate, that kind of a category. But I will tell you, I was pleasantly surprised at how much I really do like this candle and how well I actually I would put it over salted pretzel milkshake like five times over. Um, so I would say in being able to throw a fragrance, it probably is like a six and a half, seven. Um, but it did fill, fill the room that I had the candle in with the windows open. So I was super, super impressed. When I hauled this candle the other day, a couple of you guys were asking me if this was comparable to Honolulu Sun. So I do still have a Honolulu Sun. So I pulled that out of my batch. This is Honolulu Sun that came out four years ago. And the reason why I know when this came out, because I had just had my hysterectomy and I had that four years ago, and Joe went to a Bath and Body Works and bought several of these candles for me, the soaps and the wax melts. It was so super sweet of him. So Honolulu Sun, the notes are very different, but they do smell similar burning. Um, so I'll read you the notes. And this one was poured um, in 2015 on the 42nd day of that year. So it says, enjoy the warmth and wonder of Honolulu sunshine in a happy blend of fresh island coconut, Pacific palm, and sun-drenched citrus. So in comparison, this one doesn't say anything about citrus and this one doesn't say anything about vanilla. But, and even on cold sniff, this has a, a more musky scent to it, the Honolulu sun does. But when I was burning this one, it legit smelled like Honolulu Sun. I was surprised. Um, Honolulu Sun did come out in a soap, so I'm really super hopeful that this candle does hit the market again. If it came out for SAS, I would be over the moon, and I legit would buy, um, this sounds real greedy, and like I have a undisclosed amount of money, which I don't, but it, I would buy like 10 if I could get away with it. That's how much I love Honolulu Sun. Um, I only have two of these left from 2015 and I will not burn them. <laughs> so it is in my stash. Like I, I dug for this because I was like, I want to tell you guys, you know, if it's similar and it does together in the waxes are almost, they're similar in color. Not that that really matters. 
Um, and what's funny is the price difference. That one says $22.50 and then the new ones are $24.50. So if you followed Bath and Body Works for any length of time, you know the candle prices fluctuate. Um, I did get this on sale for the $14.50 plus I had a 10 off of 30. So I got two of these hand sanitizer. So technically I only I spent $10 a piece on each of these candles. But honest to God, if Honolulu Sun comes back out in a candle run go and get yourself one of those and then i don't know where i was <laughs> in the filming so this is no time for you guys but i have no clue where i was at because then my husband called um but i would say in the meantime if you can get your hands on coconut water this is a really really good candle i've told you guys i'm not the biggest in tropical i like like tropical lotions and stuff like that like the coconut but for some reason sometimes i i think i need like the tropical candle, like the coconutty ones, like more June, July, like when it's really hot here in Michigan. But this, the Honolulu Sun, if I had an endless supply of this, I would burn this one all the time. That's how much I do like it. So I wanted to give you guys an honest post burn review. There is coconut water in all her little glory. I will, um, you know, burn, continue to burn this one and I'll probably pick up a couple more if they're on sale for semi-annual sale. And then, please, Bath & Body Works, bring out Honolulu Sun and Gooey Marshmallow for semi-annual because they have the hand soap and the hand soap resurfaced. So I'm thinking, let's get the candle out there too. So I wanted to tell you guys what I thought about the candle that I just picked up. I hope you're doing good. I hope you do something good for yourself. Thank you for your love and support. Um, you guys are the reason why I do this. I enjoy being here and putting reviews out there and just showing you things I love. So I talk to you soon. Bye.